Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the board here, Spring. As always, it's me, Ivan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you this Daytona homage made by Parnis. I've had this watch for exactly two years now, and it's been amazing so far. Way better than the Pagani Design alternative, in my opinion. I purchased this watch myself from AliExpress two years ago, and if you're interested in getting it, I've left the link in the description down below. The cheapest I could find costs 100 euro, and as you can see, there are quite a few color configurations for you to choose from. My personal favorites are, of course, the ice blue model and the rose gold black dial as well, which is out of stock, unfortunately. One thing I must point out here is that the watch arrived wrapped in plastic without a box of any sort, so if you're buying this watch as a gift for someone, keep that in mind. Now let's get through the dimensions of this model and see how it wears. The case diameter is 39mm. The lug to lug is 46.7, but the end links are male, so expect it to wear a bit bigger. Next we've got the thickness, which is 13.3mm, and finally, the space between the lugs is 20mm. On my 17cm or 6.7 inch wrist, this watch wears beautifully. It feels very comfortable on this solid link bracelet, it's perfectly balanced, and sized for me it weighs 118 grams only. In addition guys, this piece looks surprisingly nice for a watch that costs only 100 euro. In fact, from over 2 meters away, it can easily be confused with a Platinum Daytona, so I wouldn't recommend wearing it in places known for their high crime rate. Since I've just mentioned the resemblance with the Rolex Daytona, I don't think we should spend much time talking about the design. This Pornis looks very much alike, and personally speaking, I'm totally fine with that. In fact, it's exactly the reason why I bought this watch, since I highly doubt I'll ever see a Platinum Daytona in the flesh, let alone being able to afford one. However, I understand that the design is also the main reason why some people will decide to stay away from it, and I'm perfectly fine with that as well. If you're one of those people, then you may want to consider this Seiko instead. I plan to review it very soon, so stay tuned. In the meanwhile, I can tell you that it's amazing, it's significantly bigger and way more expensive. But as you can see, it's a great looking watch that you can buy from my trusted AD, Relojeria Esparza. Moving on to the build quality, I'm happy to report that it's actually pretty good. In the hand, the watch feels solid and well made. One of the biggest highlights for me, besides the dial, is the fixed ceramic bezel. Guys, it looks fantastic and it makes the watch look much more expensive than it really is. On top of that, this Parnis features a sapphire crystal and despite the push-pull crown, you should be able to take it for a swim since it's water resistant to 100 meters. Now, when it comes to the finishing, it's great as well. The watch case is high polished while the bracelet is vertically brushed with polished center links. It's nothing mind-blowing, but considering the price point of 100 euro that we are talking about here, there really isn't much to complain about. Before we have a closer look at the dial, I want to mention the bracelet real quick. As I said earlier, all the links are solid and they're joined together with screws. In comparison with the Pagani Designs Daytona Homage, this bracelet is more refined and it lacks the sharp edges on the clasp. However, this clasp is not perfect either. I mean, it looks good and everything, at least to me, but the inner portion right here is just way too large. Once on the wrist, it's fine, it's not uncomfortable, but taking the watch off is when you may experience some issues, especially if you have very large hands. Is it a deal breaker? I don't think so, but it's definitely something you should be aware of. Next, let's have a closer look at the dial. Straight away, guys, it looks beautiful. I really like the eyes blue color, which has a subtle sun ray effect to it. And you know, considering that this is a chronograph watch with three sub dials, the layout is very legible 
and it's also very symmetrical thanks to the lack of a date window. In addition, the overall execution here is also very good. The hands and the applied indices are nicely polished, and the printing of the branding and the mini track is very sharp as well. My only complaint is that the 24 hour subdial at 3 o'clock is literally useless, but that has to do more with the movement than with the dial itself. Now, before I tell you more about the movement, let's see what the loom looks like. As you can see, it's not that great, but that's simply because the surface area on which it is applied is very small. It does the job though, just don't expect it to be very bright or to last for more than just a couple of hours. But you know what, to be honest, a watch like this, I wouldn't care even if it didn't have any loom at all. When it comes to the movement, inside this parnice we find the Mecha Quartz Caliber VK63, made by Seiko, which I've had in a few watches over the years and in my opinion it's a fantastic movement to have in a watch, especially when the price of the watch is this cheap. Some of the highlights of this caliber include a battery life of about 3 years, which can be more or less depending on how often you use the chrono function. It's also a very accurate movement. According to Seiko, in the worst case scenario, it will lose or gain 20 seconds a month. In reality guys, the watch keeps perfect time and I've only set the time when there were day saving time changes. Finally, the chronograph works similarly to a mechanical one, hence the Mega Quartz term, and so you get a very nice, very tactile feedback from the screwing pushers. But best of all, you get a sweeping central seconds hand. There you have it guys, the Parnis Daytona Homage is a nice little chronograph watch that will set you back only 100 euro. It features a great movement, a popular design and a fantastic build quality. It's not perfect by any means and it's not the cheapest Daytona Homage either. Pagani design is still a very good option for those who want to spend even less and so is Seiko for those who want to spend more. As always, this is just my opinion which is based on my personal preferences, so feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your opinion about this one, so yeah, let me know. Thank you very much for watching another of my videos guys, it really means a lot to me and as a reward for staying until the end, here is a look at some of the watches that are coming to the channel very soon. I've got two gorgeous titanium radio controlled pieces from Seiko and Citizen, as well as a couple of G-Shocks and even one of these Seiko Explorers that are so popular right now. If you don't want to miss any of these reviews, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. That's all for today, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.